charge of the rest of the 74 field. Oh, he's done it. He has. He's done it. Oh, wow. Well, they better approach well, the, the jury on that one. Mike Z is moving like the wind. So that's a split vote as well. That's the front on depth, the second on a blue card. So lockout. That looked like depth to me, but that's the, that's the judge I think that gave him. Some of you may be curious as to why this squat was considered a no lift. Let's get into it. To receive a successful lift within powerlifting, you must receive at minimum two white lights or a unanimous three white lights. If you receive two red lights, this results in an unsuccessful lift, as you saw at the beginning of the video. However, there is one caveat. If you receive one white light, there is a jury table consisting of three or five members where the coach can go up to that jury table and contest the lift. Now that means the jury can overrule what the judges gave as red lights, which ultimately could result in a good lift. Now, if you receive three red lights, you cannot go up to the jury and this will still be considered a no lift. You can receive a red light for various technical reasons. The judges help us identify this by three cards a red card, a blue card, and a yellow card. Let's get into each. A red card essentially means you did not hit depth, meaning your hip joint did not go lower than the top of your knee joint. A blue card means that you failed to have an upright position with your knees locked at the commencement of the lift, or you had any downward movement during the ascent. If you receive a yellow card, there's an ample amount of reasons as to why this would have happened, and I'm going to list them on the screen right here, so if you'd like to know more, hit pause, otherwise we're gonna move on. Now that we have an overview of the technical rules, we're going to look at what a successful and unsuccessful squat attempt looks like side by side. As you can see on the left, I received only one white light resulting in a no lift due to depth and also not locking out my knees at the commencement of the lift, and on the right, I received three white lights resulting in a good lift. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Go ahead and leave some comments below. If you like this content and video, hit that like button. If you're new here and you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you.